with improvised guitar pickups again. I have a microwave oven transformer as well as Minotron magnets that I tore out of several microwaves. It comes over here and it goes to the center copper conductor of the RCA cable. I also have the single RCA cable going to a splitter and going to the right and the left speaker. Let's try her out. I have the stereo turned on. Let's stick the jaw harp on there and see what it does. Yeah, you can hear that coming out of the speakers of the stereo. It's not very loud though. Yeah, stick my homemade violin on there. Let's see what kind of voltage this thing is making. I have my meter set up in DC milliamps since that's the lowest rating I could go on there. Let's stick it on there. 27. I thought, yeah, there we go. Here is my new experiment. I stuck an iron core 120 to 12 volt step down transformer to the beam with some neodymium magnets. I stuck magnets on the entire length of the coax cable coming right upstairs, going to a splitter and going right into the audio input of the stereo and I have it up full blast. Here's what it sounds like. basically C-clamped uh, microwave oven transformer to the beam. I have both the primary and secondary windings wired in phase so they work together. And it just goes up to some coax and right up to the audio input of my stereo. So let's see what it sounds like. I'm hearing a little bit more crackling and I'm hearing that same oscillation. There you can hear it. I'm not sure what that is right there. I'm gonna stick you right next to the speaker. And I'm going to go downstairs and tap the beam at a couple different locations with a piece of metal. The transformer right up against the column. Yeah, before I thought right out there in the middle of the beam would pick up the most vibration. Apparently I was wrong, because last night I read a book on seismometers, and it says if you make a seismometer, it's best to connect it to a cement floor or to a support column, a beam right next to the column, and I added more magnets to it. And I still have the magnets on the entire length of the beam. Just like the last one, I have the twisted pair going over to a grounding block and to some coax and then up to my stereo. So let's go upstairs and try it out. Yeah, it's pretty much doing the exact same thing the other one did. Normally when you generate electricity, you have a magnetic field passing by a coil that has an iron core. With a pickup like this, you have all three things combined. The magnetism, the coils, and the iron core. And what happens is, when a piece of iron passes by the end of the coil, it induces a current into the coils. And that small amount of current that it generates it goes and gets amplified and put out speakers. Yeah, that coil will sense any magnetic vibration and put it out through the speakers. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but I don't think it's working 100% yet. I'm telling you, a magnet is just a static electric battery that puts out electricity that we can't feel. I would say, like, really dense static electricity that we can't feel at all or see. Yeah, when you pass the magnet past a piece of wire, it puts electrons in it and just bumps them off the end of the wire. Hello, for today's experiment I will be taking this entire 500 foot spool number 14 THHN and I'm going to wrap the entire thing around the beam right there. Number 22 twisted pair hanging down right here running all the way up to my desk. Take it up there and just start wrapping. As you can see, this is going to be a very long and huge undertaking, but the good news is the spool will only get lighter the farther I go. There you go, it took about four hours. Fire and stick it to the right, and fire and stick it to the outside wire. Here it goes. Yeah, it's making a lot more noise this time. About the same. Since I just spent about four hours winding that coil, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. Please stay tuned because there's going to be a hundred other experiments with this coil. Hello, we have a thunderstorm rolling through. You can hear the thunder outside. So let's hook up this coil and see what it sounds like. Put you right there next to the speaker. You can hear the crackle static. There's 
100 foot RCA cable going to the splitter, the coupling, and down to this fitting. And it actually did fit the 14 gauge conductor. I was surprised. Here you can see how that is. Yeah, I also stuck about a foot of microwave oven magnets inside here. So let's go upstairs and see what it sounds like. Alright, I have the other end of the 100 foot RCA cable coming upstairs through that hole right there. And I have it hooked up to the stereo. Let's turn the stereo on and see what it sounds like. That's what I want to hear, no interference. I'm change this to my giant 500 foot pickup coil around the beam. This time I have it going to two different cables like this instead of one. The ground's connected together and I have the pickup coil connected to positive here and positive here and it goes to two different cables like that instead of the one I have here next to the speaker and we'll see what this thing does. Piezo electric pickup that I stuck on the beam. I just took the piezo disc and soldered it to a piece of steel cut to the same size as the width of the beam. So let's go upstairs and try it out. Let's go into the 100 foot RCA cable and up to my desk. I'll go ahead and sit you right here next to the speaker. For the changes that I made to the electromagnetic pickup on the beam, this time I added a feedback coil and that's not the only thing. I have both of these coils coming down to a single RCA cable just like that. One end of each coil goes to the center copper of its RCA cable and I added a capacitor and negative side goes to the shield and the, other, and the positive side of the capacitor goes to the other end of the coils just like that. On both ones they're both identical like that. 100 foot cable comes up from downstairs up to the desk where it gets grounded comes down goes over here to the stereo and I have the audio up all the way. So I'm going to put you right next to the speaker and show you what this sounds like. So what I did right there is I basically came down here with the screwdriver and I went tap, 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 tap there. And then I went tap, tap here, tap, tap here. And then I stuck it in and hit the magnet like this and I went tap, 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 tap on the 